Oh, Daisy, I'm so excited we get to do this. Uh, we should start with some of Koa's B-roll of birds. Yeah, that'd be good. It looks like Koa left me a script, but I'm pretty sure I can wing this video about birds. Uh, get it? The mic is on. Oh, the mic is on. Uh, hello, people that watch Koa Nature. My name is Chubbs. Yeah, that's me. The handsome groundhog right there. Yeah, I put on a few pounds during quarantine, but, I mean, who didn't? And that's Daisy. She's a, a very skittish chipmunk. Jeez, Daisy, you need to try meditation or something. Switch back to the B-roll. You're freaking these people out. Anyways, we're filling in for Koa today as he's off doing whatever he does in the wilderness. He's a weird guy. Okay, Daisy, put up my graphic. So today we are talking about flying dinosaurs. That's not a real animal. Daisy, I know it's not a real animal. Come on now, work with me. It's just to help the people at home visualize what I'm saying. But seriously, people, we are talking about avian dinosaurs. Birds are flying dinosaurs. Go ask a fossil nerd. They're called paleontologists. Or go ask a paleontologist, as Daisy informs me is their official title. Though I'm pretty sure they prefer to be called fossil nerds. And they're kind of like bird nerds, but fossil nerds study fossilized bones and ancient lineages and all that jazz. People who study birds are ornithologists. Orna what? Ornithologists. Ornithologists. Okay, so bird nerd scientists are called ornithologists. Okay, Daisy, I think you're just making these words up. Let's ask someone who really knows birds and see what Steve over at the BioBush YouTube channel has to say. Yep, she's right. People who study fossils are called paleontologists, and people who study birds are called ornithologists. The two professions combined is called paleornithology or avian paleontology. Well, Steve the zookeeper does his research and knows his stuff and drops videos on birds and biology every Friday, so we can trust him. Tell you so. Daisy, if you keep interrupting me, then Koa's viewers will think I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. Not cool, Daisy. Not cool. Does that handsome face look like the face of an idiot? Yes, it does. Eh, anyways, today we aren't talking about the fossils of flying dinosaurs, but real live flying dinosaurs that awkwardly stare at you and poop on your stuff every single day. And Daisy's gonna add her own subtitles as we move along. Okay, Daisy, play that bumper. Gong. What is that? Like a gong or something? We'll begin our identification journey with the Northern Cardinal. The bird that is stained in the blood of its enemies. Mostly squirrels. This is an adult male. He's really red. He's probably battled a lot of squirrels and then took a bubble bath in their blood. The females apparently don't do much slain, or perhaps they just clean up better afterwards, because only their beaks remain fairly red, with only some fainter red and orange on the body and other bits. She doesn't quite yet have those Dexter skills. She should try more plastic wrap next time. And this is a fledgling. That's like a fluffy toddler in the bird world. It's not yet stained red in the blood of its enemies, but the squirrels will fear this bird one day. Oh, and that's its father. Pause that, Daisy. The father has either an insect larva or the eyeball of a squirrel. It's just hard to tell. Okay, Daisy, unpause. The father cardinal teases his young by shoving the food in and out, as is traditional in the culture of the northern cardinal, and just like my parents did with me. Ah, the great blue heron, which is really more gray than blue, but some other bird in Eurasia and Africa already has that name. It's like when I was trying to tell Koa he should name his channel Animal Planet. But no, apparently some other channel already had that name. So this mostly gray, great blue heron is a big bird that is quite tall, like a basketball player, and with the hops to match. Daisy, throw on my graphic to give these people a size comparison. Nice. And that's a three foot vertical right there. Though it cheated a bit using those giant wings. This species of bird spends most of its life in and around water, mostly fishing and skinny dipping. Two of my favorite hobbies. Let's watch this patient bird catch a fish. Or a pile of mud, okay. Uh, let's watch this patient bird catch a fish. Or just bang its head on the water. Did that really just happen? Daisy, play that again a bit slower. Was the heron going for a leaf and just completely miss? Yep. Okay, that was embarrassing. We'll let it try one more time, but then we have to move on. The folks at home are rooting for you, buddy. All right, fish captured. Ah, uh, the Carolina wren. A bird that loves to show off when it catches food. Yes, 
Quite impressive, little buddy. Notice the brown backside with an orangey-yellow breast and the white streak along the head that looks like it slipped when it was using its eyebrow pencil. The Carolina Wren might be tiny, but it is one loud little creature. This bird is just like your annoying neighbors that don't realize sound travels through your walls at five in the morning. I mean, I live underground and those guys still wake me up every day. You cheeky little fluffball. Holy mother of mushrooms, Daisy, what am I looking at? A hatchling? It looks like an abomination from the underworld wearing a terrible toupee. It's hideous. Well, uh, I guess the parents love those little ugly things. Uh, the Carolina Wren mother and father work together to make sure these young, hideous abominations get some food. And even though this large larva could feed everyone in the nest if they would just divvy it up like normal folks, this parent obviously has a favorite offspring that gets the whole larva. What is it looking at now? Baby poop? Oh, oh, of course. Eat the bald abominations poop. That's, that's healthy. Ugh. I guess that's one way to do your housekeeping. Daisy, please just go to the next species. Oh, sparrow. Identifying sparrows is tricky business. The key is being able to recognize their gang affiliations. Their sparrow gang affiliations. Mature white-throated sparrows that have earned their gang colors will show a bright yellow patch between the eye and the bill and a number of dark streaks running along the, the head there. You don't want to mess with these little things. Yeah, one or two you could take, no problem. But a gang of them? That's another story. Oh, and this one's taking a nice bath in the creek. Sparrow gangs have strict rules on cleanliness. Everyone must bathe. Very thorough. But I do see a lot of other birds take baths. I wonder if they all have, like, these strict gang rules of bathing. Biobush could give you an answer. Right, let's just ask Steve over at Biobush. Okay, wow, he's fast. Looks like he'll have a video ready for all of you once this video finishes. You know, Daisy's going to throw up all those fancy, like, links at the end of the video and in the description below. I don't know. I don't do the technical stuff. But I know Koa really enjoys Biobush. It's a great channel for bird lovers. Ah, the classic American robin. The bird that never leaves the house without wearing white eyeliner. The orangey red breast and dark backside make this species quite recognizable. Plus, it's always in your yard. This bird has amazing hearing. It's actually hearing the worms crawling around in the ground right now. See? See? What I tell ya. It's like a superhero trait. Like the super hearing of Wonder Woman or Superman. But what I don't get is why... Batman's sidekick was called Robin. I mean, Robin didn't have super hearing like the American Robin. He just wore a bunch of spandex and occasionally punched people. Ah, I get it now. Who doesn't know the Canada Goose? Wait, Daisy's a Canada Goose or Canadian Goose? It's like Canada Goose. Canada Goose, okay. But we just went over the American Robin. So why isn't that the America, Robin? That's just not scientific, man. Those bird nerds are confusing me. Anyways, those yellow blobs of fluff are the younglings of this species. They may look like those peep Easter treats, but trust me, they are not as sugary, and they will still give you the same stomach ache afterwards. Bad times. But if they don't get mistaken as Eastern candies, then they will mature and develop their adult colors and have really long necks and make obnoxious noises. Daisy, you know, I'm, like, really good at this job. We should convince Koa to let us make a whole series of these. You really aren't that good. Viewer people, like, Daisy and I want your thumbs up and comments to convince Koa to make more of these. I'm counting on you. Uh, and finally, we have the Pileated Woodpecker. Or is it pronounced Pileated? Either one is fine. Both are good? Pileated, Pileated? It's like tomato potato. Tomato, tomato. Right. So the pileated woodpecker is easy to recognize around here because it is the largest woodpecker and has a really super cool red mohawk. This is what I'd look like with red mohawk. Heh <laughs> awesome. You can tell the dudes from the ladies as the dudes have an extra bit of red on the cheek. I think they rub berries on their face to make it that color. Stop being an idiot. No berries? Okay, whatever. This bird is well known for being a master of peekaboo. 
Seriously, if you need a baby entertained, just hire a pileated woodpecker. Please, never like a woodpecker. Never baby. Daisy thinks that's a bad idea. Hey, look, that's Tony. I know that guy. What's he doing? He looks a little mad. Whoa! That's a big black racer. Daisy, rewind. Play slower. Showdown in the woods. Looks like Tony is starting a career as a snake herder. There's good money in that. It was too close to the nest. Oh, uh, Daisy just thinks the snake got too close to the nest. Well, I want to know why these birds take baths. So let's click on the links that Daisy is tossing up on the screen over to the BioBush channel. I hope you all subscribe over there and subscribe here if you're not yet subscribed. Daisy, I think we did a terrific job. I'm like a master of bird knowledge. Daisy, I'm not an idiot. We're going to have a team meeting later. Spread some knowledge. Beat Nature Heroic.